Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to my channel. So in this lab, um, we're going to create a virtual machine in a virtual hard drive. So if you want to deploy a virtual machine in an existing virtual hard drive, a few things you have to be. So you have to go to, say, for instance, if you go to storage account, and then you click on storage. And under storage here, and under the storage account, there is what you call containers. So you click on containers. So I'm going to name this, um, I'm going to name my container um let's see what kind of name can i give this let's click on container and let's see i call this v h d stand for virtual hard drive so it says that i have to be all lower case let's go ahead and v h d right and let's just hit Create. Now, after it's created, um, just a second. Now, once it's created, I can click or I can click on it and and, um, and there's an option that says to upload. Now, if you click on upload, you can browse for a virtual hard drive. You can browse for a virtual hard drive. Now, this does mean you have some type of virtual machine you have already created like in the Hyper-V that's been running on-prem. Now you want that machine to run in Azure. So to do that, you have to, you have to sit and generalize the hard drive itself. So you have to make sure that it's in a video format then you have to export the hard drive. Once you've done that, all of that, you can, you can then browse and upload. You can then browse here and upload the hard drive. So depending on your connection, the size of the drive, it can take hours to upload. But once you've done that, once you've done that, it's pretty simple. Now, once you've done that, you can just you can just go there um, and click on images, and then now and click on images. It, it is no more involved the name and your image. I'm just going to call. So it says like create image. So the name of your image, I could just call that server. Now, um, first of all, I got to put it on a resource group. You can either create a resource group or you can put it in, in an existing resource group, right? You could choose a resource group or create a new one. You could specify if you, if, if, if it's a Windows or Linux, if you, if you have a virtual machine as a generation, 
Um, say if I choose this, I could call this, I'm sorry, server. You could put it in a region. You could choose either if it's generation one or two. I can put this on East US. Let's see if it's if it's give us to us. So yeah, East US. So you could specify if you if it's a Windows or Linux, like I said. So uh, however, it was set up when you deployed this and the IPV or whatever your virtual um, uh, solution is. So you can, you can then, so say like create a, now uh, let's see, we we'll call the server, whether generation one or two. Now here, you see that you can click here and you browse. Now you simply have to browse for the virtual hard drive. That's that's it. It's 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 not uploading. Um, I mean a twenty gig virtual, so the hard drive. But just. But 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 you just browse through your virtual hard drive and that's it. You can choose the storage type. Let's close this. You can choose the storage type. But if it's no standard premium or whatever. So, and now you, when you deploy a virtual machine, you can simply choose to use that image. For example, if I would want to exit here, and um, yes, and say if I would go here, and say if I would like wanna create a new virtual machine, I will hit create and virtual machine. Now, um, now, once I go down here, you see where it says to select, to select all images or configure VM generation. So if I click, just a second. So, so if I click on all images, let's see, should be an option here. So you see all oh, this here, there's an option here that's, so when you click my item, so my image, you could click my image it would show up here on the list and you could simply click here. And now your on-prem configuration, whatever you had, would now be defined in your virtual machine that you created in Azure itself. But for us, that process overall is just too time consuming for something that is so straightforward to actually do. Because to do that, you would have to have hypervisor build in a VM low and um, the operating system do all of that things. So just to then upload it here.
just to navigate through these few click here. So if you were to click my image, that's then the image that you have uploaded from the storage, virtual storage, virtual hard drive will be appear here. So then you would, you know, you would have to choose this as opposed to, um, to the ones that Azure have here as default. So let me see something like VM configuration, just for curiosity purposes. So virtual machine generation, your choice to create generation one, bang, bang, bang. So we already know that. But then, yeah, guys, so like I said, so I simply added it as it is. So you just have to create, I mean, to click on see all images. And from here, you will browse to my image. And that's where the images that you have created from within this will, I mean, that you have uploaded, not created, but uploaded within this will be a pair of. So as you can see here, so this giving you the ability to upload your image. So you would up, you upload your image. So whatever image that you have. And, and um, back out here in virtual machine, if you would hit create virtual machine and scroll down to see all images and all the items, that's where your image will be at on the on the left hand side here. So you would have to click this and this will allow you to upload your image. So you would have to search your image. So there's no image here because you didn't upload any image, but that's basically what that is. So again, the only reason that we don't have to do that is because it takes too many steps. I mean, too many process, but the steps is straightforward. So thank you so very much. Stay, stay tuned for another lab videos. I'll see you in the next lab. Thank you. Bye-bye.